expansion of the newest charter school in Wake County is revealing the rise in popularity of school choice for parents. Triangle Math and Science Academy tells WRL more than 6,500 students are on a wait list to get into one of its schools here. WRL's Matt Tallham explains why critics of charter schools are pushing back. Wake County Public Schools opposed the plans for this charter school here in Apex. It is now open and being celebrated by the state's top educator. The arts take center stage in a celebration to open a school with math and science in its name. This TMSA Apex is doing is really in line with what our state's economic needs are, where the jobs are. State Superintendent of Public Instruction Catherine Truitt helped cut the ribbon. Two, one, go. On the first phase of a $65 million campus for Triangle Math and Science Academy. Statewide charter school enrollment is increasing. They've gained 48,000 students since 2017, while traditional public school enrollment dropped by more than 61,000 students. It's a choice, and choice is really the great equalizer, and the more choice that parents have in what education is best for their child, the better. Critics say charter schools take resources away from public school systems and don't represent the diversity of the communities they're in. Wake County Public Schools opposed to TMSA's expansion. In this 2021 letter to the state, the school system wrote, the academy is a classic example of a charter school contributing to de facto segregation. But when you look at the demographics of student enrollment from the Department of Public Instruction, charter schools in Wake County match up pretty closely with non-charter schools. There are more students who identify as Asian, white, or two or more races in public charters. There are 7% fewer Hispanic students and 4% fewer black students in charter schools than in Wake County public schools. TMSA's superintendent tells WREL they use a weighted lottery for admissions. We said, okay, 10%, 15%, we are giving the priority for the educational disadvantaged students so they can for sure benefit out of our program. I wouldn't have imagined any of this in a regular public school. Sudi Basu's son is in third grade in the academy. He loves the challenge. He's excited about it. Basu says it's giving his son a head start for a career of the future. It's important to have the ability to choose for your children what you'd like them to do in the future and what kind of tracks they need to have. Matt Tallhelm, WRL News, Apex.